it's recording. Hi, it is Noelle, and this is the Noelle Head. That is the new name. It used to be the Noelle Show, but now it's the Noelle Head. It's not original, but I don't care, because I'm basically talking about stuff that's in my head. So, why not just say the Noelle Head? Of course, I'm not saying all the stuff that goes on in my head, because then you guys would probably be freaked out and call the mental institution on me, so just gonna say a few things. Um, first off, I am bored, and I felt like making a video because, I don't know, I'm just bored. Uh, this is my new hair. Yes, my beautiful new hair. I could be a hair model. I'm joking. Um, it was horrible before. My roots were disgusting. And I've wanted all blonde, but since my roots were so bad, I have to go, like, um, I have to transition, I guess you could use that word, I don't know, into, uh, each time blonder and blonder and blonder. And so I had to get this hair for now, but I actually really like it, except for my frizziness. My frizziness. Yes. Um, I don't know. I make these videos and nobody really watches, but... It's a way to get my, like, outlet. It's my outlet, basically, because I have so much going on in my head that I don't know who else to talk to, because my parents and my brothers are, like, so boring. Like, whenever I watch a new show and I'm like, oh my god, they just kissed! I have no one to talk to, except for my Twitter friends. So, it kind of sucks. So, I'm going to make start making videos to get, like, all my opinions and stuff out. Um, one thing I always think about is... Uh, every time I listen to music as I'm walking down the street, I always, it's so hard for me, and on the train, to not just break out and start going, start dancing, not like that, but I'll be listening to music, and I literally have to control myself, I'll start going like this, and then I'll be like, oh shit, people are going to stare at me, because I don't want to be like one of those people who starts dancing and singing on the train, um, sorry, my nose is touching, so I have to control myself. But, like, I'll be walking down the street, and I'll think, man, how cool would it be to just start walking down the street in, like, the city in Times Square? Walking down the street, and all of a sudden, you just burst out in song and dance, and everyone around you starts dancing with you, and, oh, my God. I have, if I ever became a singer, I have the perfect video already. Like, I always think of, if I was a singer, this is how I'd want to have my music videos. Um, if I was an actress, this is how I'd want to play a character, you know? And I don't want to save my music video because someone might steal it. Yeah. I'm very, like, kind of, um, conscious about that. Because, I guess you can use that word. I don't know if you can use that word. I don't know. Um, but, like, I write a lot. I have so much stuff written down. And a lot of it, my dad and parents will say, like, all my parents, not just my dad. And everyone will be like, oh, why don't you post it and stuff like that. Or let me show this person. And it's not that I don't want to post it because I really do like some of the stuff I write. And I think people can relate. But there's just people out there that steal your stuff. Like, I'm not going to post something out there that I worked really hard on for someone else to say they did it. Because to me, that is just disrespectful. I think that's disgusting. So, I personally don't want to put something out there and have someone else steal it and say, Oh, yeah, I wrote this. Uh, no, I did. So, I don't really... I'll, every once in a while, I'll post a few things, but not the main ones I do. So, I get kind of nervous. But, um, what I am going to do, because I've started writing, like, six books, I will get to, like, five or six pages, and I'll stop and move on to something else, and then come back and do another page. I get bored easily. But, um... And I have so many ideas, I don't know what it is. I write down everything, even if it's a little fucking sentence, like, I feel so alone, or something, I don't know. Or, yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But I write it down because I feel like if I don't, and I forget it, then I'm gonna go back and say, what could go with this? Oh, I had a good one, I can't remember it. I write down everything. You never know when you might use it, or need it, or like it. If you don't like it when you said it, you might like it later on, down the road. But, moving on, like I was saying, um, I am going to, all my stuff that I've written, I am going to make a book of quotes, stories, poems, um, lyrics, uh, advice. I'm going to make a book of all that and, yeah, eventually. Not right now. I don't know. But that is one of my ideas. And my noggin. And my noggin. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway. 
this, yeah. I kind of lose my train of thought a lot. I'll be like talking, and the next thing I know, I'll be like, yeah. Okay. Oh, what? I don't know. Uh, another thing you need to know about me is I love to make weird faces and make up weird voices. I am a very weird person. I don't see what, anything wrong with that. I totally embrace it. It's like when someone calls me a bitch. I'm like, okay, thanks. I mean, I, in, like, that's another thing I want to talk about. In life, I notice that you get judged a lot. I mean, everyone notices that. You get judged for every little thing. And people say if you're different, or if you act this way, or if you wear that, or do this, it's wrong. But I don't see why. Like, when people say you're weird, it's like, I don't know why people would take offense to that. I enjoy being weird. Or people say, you're wearing that today? Yeah, I like it. It's my outfit. I'll wear it if I want. I am comfortable. I enjoy the outfit. Just because everyone else doesn't like it, who gives a fuck? Excuse my language. But it's like about, it's like Hollywood. I personally, I have always wanted to be an actress. I mean, ever since I was a little kid, that's the only thing that actually stuck with me. That I wanted to be an actress. And, um... Because I like to, like, I like making people laugh. And I really like to play a different character. Like, I think it's so interesting to play someone completely different from yourself and do things that you normally would never do. It, and just go through these emotional things that you yourself never have. I just think acting is so interesting and, like, so complex. It's not easy. I know it isn't. I mean, I don't need experience to know it's not easy. But to be like this bubbly, amazing, well not bubbly, amazing person, to be like this bubbly, funny person and then in real life and then in your character be this dark, twisty killer, it's so interesting and it's so much work to be someone like that, but it's so rewarding at the end when you see your performance or when people say, wow, you know, I could relate to that or wow, this story is so real. See, for me, if I ever became an actress, I'm not going to take a job because it's a lot of money or because I'll get to work with this actor or this actress. I want to take a job because it has a story to tell and people can relate to it. And the c characters are so complex. I don't want to just take a job, oh yeah, I like the cheerleader. Like, you know, those kind of roles. I would. I personally don't ever want to take a role like that if I ever became an actress because I just don't see what's the point. Why, If you're going to take a job just because of the money, then... Okay, that's you, okay? But that's not me. I want to play a role that is so different and tells a story that people can relate to. Not, oh yeah, another cheerleader, woohoo. Yeah, another person getting bullied, woohoo. You know, like, you, I want to tell an actual story, not be the bullier. I want to actually be the bully victim, you know? Tell the story, like, how bullying is so wrong and how it can just affect so many different people, you know, and not the other way where, oh, I'm the bully, or and I have no regrets, and I enjoy bullying people, you know? Yeah, sorry, I'm kind of rambling. Um, so, that's really what I like about acting, but, since I got off topic, um, I know as in Hollywood, you get judged a lot, and me personally, like I was saying from the beginning, I sometimes think, you know, I don't think I want to be an actress, because I'm not skinny, and I'm not... I don't have the perfect nose, or the perfect eyes, or the perfect hair. You know, I feel like you get judged so bad, and since there's not, there's so many skinny actresses, and like freaking like anorexic looking of them, that a lot of people kind of stray away from that, only because, you know, like they could have tremendous talent, but they don't look like everyone else in Hollywood, so therefore they give up that dream. And they say, you know, maybe acting's not for me, but, and that's what I hate, because I even say that. You know, I'm not saying I have tremendous talent, but I want to do acting, but then again I look at it and say, but I don't look like all those. And it's, I like being different and stuff, but it's hard to, like, completely accept that, you know? Some days I'll be like, oh, I don't care what I look like. I, if I uh, become an actress, and if they don't like the way I look, so what? I'll do little jobs. But other days it's like, gosh, you know, all these people are so gorgeous and skinny, and it's like, God, you know, you don't see many big actresses, and therefore, you can't really say, well, she's big, and I, she's an actress, and she's amazing, you know, and then you hear stories about this person to get hired because their nose, this person to get hired because of their mouth, their voice, their stomach, their butt, so I think in um, life, so many people get judged for such little things, and so many people are afraid to do new things because of the bullying and getting judged, and 
being hated on. And it's like on Twitter. If you don't like an actress or actor, okay, that's fine. But don't go attacking them on Twitter. Oh, you stupid bitch. Oh, you're dating him. Oh, he, you're disgusting. It's like, does that make you feel better? Me, I have a couple people in uh, Hollywood that I do not like. But I see no sense in hating on them in, uh, on Twitter or on Facebook or on MySpace, anything like that. What is the point? Does that make you feel better tearing them down? Like, the things people say are so disrespectful and so mean. I honestly want to just fucking say, are you kidding me? I've done it a couple times. I've talked back to them. because, And, of course, they don't say nothing because they know it's wrong. But it just amazes me why people hate so much. I, ugh, I just don't understand. It's like, I don't see why you feel the need to go on Twitter and call this person a slut, a bitch, a whore. Her mother's a slut. It's like, are you kidding me? Get a life. Do something else productive. Don't go on Twitter and hate. Were you big and bad because you're behind a computer? If this was real life, half those people wouldn't even say it. That's what amazes me. Is everyone will say all this mean stuff on the computer, but if it was face to face, they'd be like little bitches and run. It's the truth. Let's be honest. <sighs> Sorry.